Hi, I'm Amrita, your ESL teacher. In this lesson, we are going to learn three lovely expressions that you might be hearing all around you every day. Well, these expressions are very common, so I want to make sure that you know them and you can understand what people are saying. Expression number one, good for you. Can you guess the meaning the way I said it? Let me give you an example. Your friend got 8.5 overall band score in IELTS and she just gave you this good news. So you can say, wow, amazing. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Repeat after me three times, okay? Then it will be helpful for you to remember. Expression number two. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. Well, you have nothing to do with the word posted. It's not about mailing or posting. It's all about having the updated news. You want to know what's going on. What's, uh, what is someone's current situation? Okay, um, let me give you an example. It will be helpful for you to understand. Your friend got an accident and she is in the hospital. So you can tell the doctor, doctor, keep me posted. You can always call me. Keep me posted. Keep me posted about her. That means you want to get updated about her recovery details. Expression number three, sleep on it. It's nothing about sleep on something. No. So. What is the meaning? Can you guess? Sleep on it? No, it's nothing about sleeping on a pillow or on a bed. It's about, I want you to take some time to take a good decision. Don't take any hasty decision. You always have time to make up your mind, okay? So when someone tells you, sleep on it, don't think that you should sleep. No, it means, you always have time to think and then take decision. I hope you are going to find these expressions really useful and you are not going to forget it. Thank you. Bye-bye.